Well, we're off to the vets yet again. The only difference being it's Christmas Eve um, and I've got no film crew with me. But we've got a tawny owl with two broken wings. Never do we get tawny owls with two. One maybe, never two. So it's quite a challenging op. And uh, we're hoping Angus can work his Christmas miracles. Christmas Eve, and you're going to attempt something which I think is pretty damn phenomenal. Well, we'll have a look. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Uh, Angus Anderson is a very kind vet who often helps us with challenging cases. So uh, you need to get him anaesthetised. Uh, this tawny owl was brought into us after being found unable to fly. When we saw the X-rays, we saw the extent of the damage. I expect you'd be wearing a Christmas hat today. Uh. <laughs> Angus was kind enough to immediately respond to our call for help. Well, we can have a go. So what are you doing now, ladies? Yeah, we're just going to start prepping him for surgery. You know you've got to stick all those back on as soon as oh. you finish, haven't <laughs> you? In exactly the right order. Do they grow back? I think yeah, they will. First, he needed to insert a pin through both pieces of the broken bones to bring them together. The bones were so thin that it was tricky to get the alignment right. Just hold that for me, Amanda, please, just so it's steady, thanks. Just gently, just go in. All right, that's it, yeah. yeah. The next step was to add external pins, which would help stabilise the repair. No, okay. He then fixed the pins together with a special cement. So are you reasonably happy with how that side's gone? or? Yeah, it's brilliant. I'm really impressed. Uh, with that, that's stable. Uh, I'm expecting that to heal in about five minutes. <laughs> it's just such an actor. <laughs> One side to go, eh? Um, I mean, that is the ulna. Oh, there you go, there's the other end of the ulna. The broken bones were once again aligned with a pin inserted through the middle of the ulna. Um, so now what we're going to do is um, whack that fixture on. The external pins were screwed into the bone to stabilise the repair. The cement was then put around the pins to hold the whole thing in place. It seems to be stable. Let's quickly get a quick extra. Okay. Gorgeous, beautiful. It looks good, Simon. I mean, you can see where the pin is, you can see where the fixtures are, everything's nicely aligned. Um, the radial fractures have brought, been brought back into alignment. It's, it's looking, I have to say, really pretty good. I'm very pleased with that. Yeah. Oh, All right, my love. Oh, bless him. He is an absolute sweet, isn't he? In your love. In your sweetie. There we go. All right, my love. There we go. To thank Angus for his amazing work on the tawny owl, Emma brought him some special sweets from Spain. It's for Christmas. <laughs> That's very, very kind. So Angus really liked them, but I was not at all convinced. No, you don't like that? You've got to like almonds. I love almonds. It's like almonds. an almond paste. It's, it's a bit like ground up peanuts, to be honest. Yeah? My oh. God. That is delicious. After the impromptu food tasting, it was time to check on the owl's progress. I'm very unconventional in how I carry things, so I always carry them in my jacket so they feel calm and peaceful. Um, oh. And once I've got the legs contained, I don't need to worry too much. We took an x-ray to find out if the fracture had healed successfully and whether we could now remove the external fixators. That's, that's looking good. The ulna has healed. Uh, the radius hasn't, as I said, not helped by the fact that it's slightly displaced, but there's not much we could have done about that, I don't think. On the other side? And again, that ulna has, has, has knitted nicely. Um, and the radius has actually healed. Well, yeah, no, no, that is good. So it's time to take the frames off. With a pin? Um, we may struggle to get the pin out. Okay. I'd be inclined to just leave the pin. The plan now is to uh, remove these uh, these frames, and what we need to do to achieve that is to cut the pin just below the acrylic, and then um, essentially um, unscrew the pin uh, from the bone. And that's that out. Right, let's have a feel. All right, my love. Yeah, I mean, that feels stable. We, we can't differentiate the two bones that are in this, this part of the wing. And again, that whole area feels stable. So that's, we've, that's fantastic. We've got good clinical union. Having taken all the x-rays, the owl just needed some time to rest and to heal. Wake up now? Yeah. 
Nice and bright, Angus, already. Good. Yeah, good. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I can see him. The tawny owl stayed with us for quite a while to make sure its feathers grew back and it was able to fly normally. A few weeks later, it was time to give it a last checkup. Angus removed the internal pins before the bird was assessed for release. Well, we're just going to give him one final x ray to make sure that everything's as it should be and you can go back out to the wild. Oh, that's looking quite good, Dem. Are you happy with that now? Yeah, I'm really happy. Now it's going to need to get stronger in the big flight, so we can see on the cameras if he's flying OK and release him soon. Yeah. Excellent. After several weeks more at the centre, it was finally time to release it back to the wild. Angus did an amazing job, and now he's going back out to the wild, which is all pretty cool. And you take ages to get them into a cage, and then you can't get them out. Look, this is freedom. This is what you've been waiting for for weeks. Here it goes. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate. Every pound given will help save our threatened wildlife.